guys, so I thought I would uh, come in with an update on <laughs> the uh, supposedly straightened hair. <laughs> um, today is Monday and I straightened my hair last Tuesday, so it's almost been a week. And because I didn't really do a great job of straightening, or yeah, because I, I really didn't use as much heat as I could have to really get it slick straight. I wasn't really interested in uh, doing that because I was afraid that would really actually damage it. Um, the way I did it here could potentially damage it, but sleek straight I think would have definitely damaged it. Uh, I'm pretty sure. It's been holding up in its straight form for the past week. Um, it has gotten a little puffy, especially in the roots. Uh, obviously I think that's the first thing to go <laughs> is the roots start to uh, kind of go back to their original form. I guess I'm gonna do a review of uh, <laughs> my straightened hair. <laughs> this is like a thing I'm trying, like it's a product I'm trying or something, except it's my hair. Um, but it's been it's been nice so far. Oh my god, getting up in the morning and just like tying it or like putting on a hat and going or like braiding it and going in one large braid. And I'm just like, wow, so this is what it's like. And at some, some points I'm just like, what do I do now? Like, it usually takes me 15 minutes to do my hair in the morning to prep it for the day. But right now, I'm, I was done in two minutes. Like, what's happening to me right now? I just, I couldn't wrap my head around that. Um, but it's just, it's been really nice. I gotta tell you, it's really nice. So I like that aspect. It's strange to not have to fight with my hair all the time. <laughs> I'm used to, like, struggling with things and seeing, like, doing a style and then seeing how it just doesn't lay the way I want it to, um, but with this it's just like I can do anything I want and I'm, I'm satisfied with it. I can shape it any way and it, and it obeys, okay? It obeys. Um, it's been really exciting. Um, otherwise, I'm not like, oh my god, this is so fabulous, you know? Like, I expected myself to be like, this is amazing, but I've had straight hair before. I used to straighten my hair before I went natural. Um, and I stopped relaxing, so for the four years I was supposedly transitioning, um, I just straightened my hair because I wasn't used to it in its curly form. Uh, I would wash, blow dry, and straighten, wash, blow dry, and straighten every time. Um, it wasn't until four years ago that I actually started just not straightening it after washing it. So I used, I, I had a feel for the straight hair before, but, uh, for my straight hair before at least, um, but this time it's just... It feels healthier, um, and it's longer, and it's just stress-free, whereas before I used to always um, stress about how it looked and how it wasn't healthy, it was always dead-looking, um, so it's nice to have a change in that. Um, otherwise, I started missing my kinks a little bit. Uh, I'm not talking about how long it takes to take care of them and how long it takes to wash and style and prep every morning. That's not what I'm talking about, obviously. I don't, I don't enjoy that, okay? But it's, it's part of the process of being a natural. It's part of like your daily routine, so you kind of get used to it. But if I had a had an opportunity to choose, maybe to not have to do that every morning, I, I, I would definitely take it. So um, besides that, I really do miss my my kinky hair. I miss my braids, especially. Um, I've always been more comfortable with my hair and braids. Yeah, so that was my review of my strained hair. <laughs> uh, would I try this again? Uh, probably, at some point, but um, I did not enjoy the process of straightening it, okay? It took six hours, as you saw in the previous video, and I don't have time for that. That's, And I don't have the patience to gently comb through each little kink. No, I, I do not want to do that ever again. <laughs> I just wanted to do an update on how it's looking so far within a week and I don't know if it'll stay like this or if it'll um, grow up some more but I also wanted to do an unofficial length check. Um, I'm not going to use a ruler or anything but um, I'm just going to measure it up to... So the bottom is pretty much past boob level, <laughs> I guess you could call it, uh, or the hair at my nape, and then same. It's not exactly the same on this side, because the hair on this side is a little bit shorter and more kinky than on this side, for some reason. The, the texture is looser on this side, 
I'm going to take a bit from the back of my ear. So that's like past armpit length on that side. side, same thing, and I'll take one on my nape here, so that's almost at boob length, past the collarbone, and then some here, it's a little bit longer on this side, but this is at the collarbone. Um, I'm going to take some at the center. Um, and this comes down about to armpit, pretty much. I'm going to take one from this side. So I'm not using, a, I should probably use a ruler, but I'm not using one because I just, uh, I don't know. I don't want to get stuck on numbers, um, <clears throat> um, and I'll have this video to reference back to in about a year or the next time I do a length check. But yeah, I just wanted to come in and do an unofficial length check and uh, <laughs> review of my straight air, if that's what I can call it. But yeah, thank you guys for tuning in, and if you do want to see the video, the process that I went through to... <laughs> A gruesome six hour process I went through to, to straighten my hair. Uh, I'll be posting the video down below um, or somewhere over here. And yeah, uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to share it with others who might find it useful, especially the hair straightening process. Um, and don't forget to subscribe as usual. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.